Welcome to the fourth and final panel on entrepreneurship and innovation. Uh, unfortunately, my colleague, Eleni Hadzi, had, uh, was back. He, she came from Switzerland yesterday, but unfortunately, she was diagnosed with, with COVID in the morning, so uh, you will only have me, I'm afraid. Um, so the plan is as follows, as the program suggests. We will hear first a, a brief presentation by the CEO of Pfizer, Alex Burla. Then we'll continue with a presentation of uh, Nectarios Tavernarakis. Then we have um, four distinguished panelists who I will introduce at the time. So let's start first with, uh, with a video from uh, Dr. Burla. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the invitation and the opportunity to address this symposium. Some people say there has never been a better time to be a scientist, and I couldn't agree more. Science is advancing more rapidly than ever before. It is becoming more diverse and competitive, but also more collaborative. It is becoming an integral part of dynamic innovation ecosystems around the world. It helps deliver groundbreaking solutions that tackle the biggest challenges of our time and transform people's lives. And our ability to harness scientific advances will be crucial in achieving long-term, resilient economic and social progress. This can be done only by fostering an environment where innovation can flourish. This means creating efficient ecosystems that bring together information, human capital, resources, policies, and stakeholders to help great ideas come to life and make an impact at scale. At Pfizer, we consider this kind of collaboration as critical to advancing our R&D strategy and delivering new medical breakthroughs. And we welcome opportunities to work with research partners in academia, government, and the private sector. Most of you know that we partnered with BioNTech to develop our COVID-19 vaccine. What you might not know is that we are participating in the Innovative Medicines Initiative, the world's largest public-private partnership in health research. We collaborated with leading biopharma companies and the board, Institute of MIT and Harvard, to enable access to the world's largest brown sable resource that links rare protein coding genetic variants to human health and disease. And we also created the Pfizer Centers for Therapeutic Innovation, a dedicated model for partnering with leading academic investigators around the world to translate promising early stage concepts into clinical drug development programs. Greece has a distinct role to play in promoting innovation. And in the past few years, the country has been making steady progress. We have seen significant improvement in terms of funding of scientific research, but also with policies and incentives for investment in R&D and startups. We have seen a surge of technology, clusters, incubators, accelerators, and entrepreneurial ventures. All of this has fueled a dynamic startup ecosystem that keeps blooming raising more funds, generating more quality jobs, and creating more success stories. I'm particularly glad that the life sciences sector has been spearheading this impressive growth, accounting for the largest number of startup and spin-off companies. All these factors have played a critical role 
in Pfizer's decision to establish two global centers in Greece and in Thessaloniki. In particular, one center for digital innovation and our Global Business Services Center. The Center for Digital Innovation currently employs almost 400 skilled professionals, 15% of whom are Greek expatriates coming back from abroad. One of the Center's main goal is to participate in and promote the city's innovation ecosystem by investing in local talent and potential. Our team is already collaborating with the academic community, research institutions and startups, sharing expertise and promoting digital innovation in the health sector. And of course, we are working in close collaboration with the patient community, listening to their needs and priorities. As the healthcare landscape continues to evolve, Pfizer is leading the digital transformation across research and development, manufacturing, and the way our medicines and vaccines reach patients. For instance, digital innovation enabled us to develop a safe, effective COVID-19 vaccine in record time without cutting corners. Within four months, we scaled our clinical trial to 46,000 participants in 150 sites in six countries. Artificial intelligence and machine learning helped our scientists to analyze vast amounts of clinical trial data in near real time. We also were able to refresh participants' data every four hours helping us to present the trial data in record time. Of course, Pfizer's innovations won't do anyone any good if people can't access them. That's why we recently launched the Accord for a Healthier World, an initiative that aims to provide all Pfizer's patented, high-quality medicines and vaccines available in the US or the European Union as well as all future products on a not-for-profit basis to 1.2 billion people in 45 lower-income countries. In doing so, we seek to help reduce the health inequities that exist between many lower-income countries and the rest of the world. In the years to come, science and technology will keep breaking new ground. Countries that focus on innovation will see fast, sustained, but also more inclusive and equitable growth in the future. Greece has an excellent opportunity to be one of these countries. I strongly believe in the role that the Greek scientific diaspora can have in scaling up the country's innovation ecosystem. There exists an exceptional network of world-renowned Greek scientists and researchers that can be a source not only of valuable knowledge, information and experience, but also of inspiration. So, we must build strong relationships and efficient networks of collaboration among people and institutions in Greece and around the world. I want to congratulate the founders and the members of the Hellenic Institute of Advanced Studies for taking this initiative and for exploring ways to leverage scientific excellence and achievement in service of our home country. I hope you enjoy the symposium and walk away inspired to create the types of breakthroughs that will make for a stronger Greece and a stronger world. Thank you.